Brisbane Lions have done it. The Hawks, the Bombers, the Crows, they couldn't do it in the 80s and the 90s. But the Lions have gone back to back to back. Yeah, time flies, as they say. Yeah, yeah, no, it's... Um... Yeah, it's a decade, it's a long time, so uh, the memories are uh, starting to fade a little bit. Oh, the most significant memory is the sort of the, the moment or two when you've just won. You know, the moment or two, the minute or two, the hour or two. It's just such a special feeling and uh, very quickly, you know, becomes a memory. You know, a day or two later, it's just a nice memory that happened recently. And uh, now they're nice memories that happened a decade ago, but, you know, you, you tend to live... The people who are currently involved, they, they're obviously still involved in what they're doing now. For those of us, I guess Charmo's retired, as I am, so we can think back on it. But what you get out of it, the, the, mainly, is what you get at the time. I mean, football's a, a kind of game of forced relationships. I mean, people come from all walks of life. You come together at your football club for a period of time. And when you finish at your football club, you head off into your, you know, into your, into your normal life. So you don't see people. You see individual, uh, individuals a little bit. But the the sort of reunion part. I hope that all the players can make it. Clearly, that might be it might be difficult. But it's it's more the fact there's people that you shared such a great part of your life with. It's always nice to actually, you know, come back together periodically and, and see them.